हरे कृष्णा दंडवत प्रणाम डियर डिवोटीज टुडे वी आर रीडिंग द बुक इजी जर्नी टू आदर प्लैनेट्स बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस ए सी भक्तिवेदान स्वामी चुला प्रभुपाद वी शैल कंटिन्यू द पेज नंबर फिफ्टी वन भक्ति योगा इज द इटर्नल रिलीजन ऑफ मैन एट अ टाइम वेन मटेरियल साइंस प्री डोमिनेट्स ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स इंक्लूडिंग द टेनेंट्स ऑफ रिलीजन इट वुड बी एंड लिविनिंग टू सी द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द इटर्नल रिलीजन ऑफ मैन फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ द मॉडर्न साइंटिस्ट इवन डॉक्टर सर्वपल्ली राधा कृष्णन एडमिटेड एट अ वर्ल्ड रिलीजन कॉन्फ्रेंस दैट रिलीजन विल नॉट बी एक्सेप्टेड इन मॉडर्न सिविलाइजेशन If it is not accepted from a scientific point of view, in reply, we are glad to announce to the lovers of the truth that bhakti yoga is the eternal religion of the world, and it is intended for all living beings who are all eternally related with the supreme Lord. Shri Prad Ramanuja Charya defines the word sanatan <coughs> or eternal. as that which has neither beginning nor end when we speak of sanatan dharma eternal religion we take this definition for granted that which has neither beginning nor end is unlike anything sectarian which has limits and boundaries in the light of modern science it will be possible for us to see sanatan dharma as the main occupation of all the people of the world now of all living entities of the universe non sanatana religious faith may have some beginning in the annals of man but there is no historic origin of sanatan dharma because it eternally remains with the living entities when a man professes to belong to a particular faith <coughs> hindu muslim christian buddhist or any other sect and when he refers to a particular time and circumstance of birth such designations are called non sanatan dharma a hindu may become a muslim or a muslim may become a hindu or christian etc but in all circumstances there is one constant in all circumstances he is rendering service to others a hindu muslim buddhist or christian is in all circumstances a servant of someone the particular type of faith professed is not sanatan dharma sanatan dharma is the constant companion of all the living beings the unifier of all religions Sanatan Dharma is the rendering of service. In the Bhagavad Gita, there are several references to that which is Sanatan. Let us learn the import of Sanatan Dharma from this authority. There is reference to the word Sanatanam in the tenth verse of the seventh chapter, in which the Lord says that He is the eternal fountain head of everything. and is therefore sanatanam the fountain head of everything is described in the upanishads as complete whole all emanations of the fountain head are also complete in themselves but although many complete units emanate from the complete sanatan fountain head the sanatan head does not diminish in quality or quantity that is because the nature of sanatana is unchangeable anything that changes under the influence of time and circumstances is not sanatana therefore anything that changes whatsoever in form of quality cannot be accepted as sanatan to give a material example the sun has been disseminating its rays for hundreds and millions of years and yet although it is a materially created object its form and rays are still unchanged 
therefore that which is never created cannot change in formation of quality even though he is sigling source of everything the lord claims to be the father of all species of life he claims that all living beings regardless of what they are a part and parcel of him consequently the bhagavad gita is meant for all of them in the gita there is information of the sanatana nature of the supreme lord there is also information of his abode which is far beyond the material sky and of the sanatana nature of the living beings lord krishna in the bhagavad gita also informs us that this material world is full of miseries in the shape of birth old age disease and death even in the topmost planet of the material universe brahma loka this miseries are present only in his own abode is there a total absence of misery in that abode there is no need of light from sun moon or fire the planets are self luminous life there is perpetual and full of knowledge and bliss that is what is known as sanatana dharma sanatana dham it is therefore natural to conclude that the living entities must return home back to godhead to enjoy life in the sanatan dham with the sanatan purusha or the purushottama lord shri krishna they must not remain to rot in this miserable land of material existence there is no happiness in this material sphere even in brahma loka so plans and activities for elevation to higher planets within the material universe are carried out by those who are less intelligent less intelligent men also take shelter of demigods and also derive benefits which endure for a limited period thus the religious principles and the benefits derived therefore from are only temporary the intelligent man however abandons all engagements in the name of religion and takes shelter of the supreme personality of godhead and thus receives absolute protection from the almighty father sanatana dharma is therefore the process of bhakti yoga by which one can come to know the sanatan lord and his sanatana abode by this process only can one return to the spiritual universe the sanatana dhamma to take part in the sanatana enjoyment prevailing there those who are followers of sanatan dharma may hence forward take up those principles in the spirit of the bhagavad gita there is nothing barring anyone from adopting the eternal principles even persons who are less enlightened can return to godhead this is the version taught by shrimad bhagavatam and by the supreme lord himself in the bhagavad gita mankind should be given a chance to take advantage of this opportunity because bhagavad gita was spoken in the land of bharata varsha every indian has the responsibility to broadcast the message of real sanatan dharma in the other parts of the world especially at the present moment misguided men are suffering in the darkness of materialism and their so called learning has enabled them to discover the atomic bomb they are consequently on the verge of inhalation sanatan dharma however will teach them about the real purpose of life and they will benefit by its propagation hari krishna shila prabhupad ki jai